As a sales manager, you may want to know the instant impact of a change in production cost or sales amount. In this case, a scenario summary report will quickly provide you with an overview of different sales scenarios. Hello everyone! Welcome to Excel Demi, your day-to-day -day Excel and VVA tutorial helpline. This is Hadiul Basha and today I'll demonstrate how to create a scenario summary report in Excel. For this video, I will use Microsoft Excel 365. Let's quickly refresh our concept about the Scenario Summary Report. A Scenario Summary Report is a kind of report where we can compare two or more scenarios and represent the summary of both scenarios in a simple, concise, and informative approach. This is a profit analysis dataset. This includes a category where you'll find different types of costs of the product A and product B, as well as the selling price and units sold to calculate the total profit. And if you go to cell C10 and look at the formula bar, you'll find that the total profit is the selling price minus the summation of costs times the unit sold. In this way, you'll get the total profit of A and B. I'll create a scenario summary report using this data set. Here, I'll compare two scenarios, the best case scenario and the worst case scenario. In the best case scenario, I'll decrease the costs and increase the selling price as well as the units sold. This will increase our total profit. On the other hand, in the worst case scenario, I'll increase the manufacturing cost and will decrease the units sold. As a result, our total profit will decrease. Now move to the data tab. In the forecast section, click on what if analysis. As I'll create a scenario summary report, so move to Scenario Manager. This opens Scenario Manager window. Click on Add to insert a scenario. As a result, Add Scenario window is open. In the Scenario Name field, let's create the best case scenario first. So type Best Case. Now I'll change the values of cells C5 to D9. So in the Changing Cells field, select the current value, discard it, and choose cells C5 to D9. You will find the cell reference in the changing cells field. Now click on OK. This opens scenario values window. By default, this will show you the initial values. Now in the best case scenario, I will decrease the costs and increase the selling price and units sold. So let me quickly change the values accordingly. I have decreased the costs as I will increase the selling price. So I will increase the value of cell C8. Finally, let's increase the units sold. The sold units for product A is 1800 and product B is 3000. Now click on add to add this scenario. This opens the add scenario window again. For the second scenario, type the scenario name as worst case scenario. The changing cells will be C5 to D9. So this value is perfect. Now click on OK. And this opens the scenario values window. In this scenario, I will increase the manufacturing cost. So in cell C5, type 9. And in cell D5, type 7. Next, I will change the values of cell C9 and D9. So go to cell C9, change the value to 500. And in cell D9, set is as 1200. Finally, click on OK. In the scenario manager window, you will find the scenarios that I have just created. Now, I want to get the summary of the scenarios. So click on the summary option. This opens the scenario summary window. This will let you choose between two types of reports. In the first case, let's select the scenario summary. In our case, we want to see the effect on the total profit. And in the worksheet, the total profits are in cells C10 and D10. If you look at the result cells field, you will find cells C10 and D10 are suggested automatically by the scenario summary window. So click on OK to create the scenario summary. And you can see that a new worksheet named Scenario Summary is created. This includes the Scenario Summary. The summary is divided in three sections. It shows the current values, then the first scenario and the second scenario. You'll find the effect of the scenarios on total sales here in the result sales. From the result sales, you can see that the current values of cells C10 and D10 are 1500 and 4000 respectively. This indicates the total profit of product A and product B. And in the best case scenario, 
The total profit will be 12,600 for product A and for product B, the total profit will be 27,000. Finally, in the second scenario, the profit for product A will be 500 and for product B, it will be 1,200. And that's it. This is our scenario summary. Let's explore the second type of scenario summary report. Move to the data tab. From the forecast section, click on what if analysis. Go to scenario manager. This opens the scenario manager window. Now click on summary and the scenario summary window is open. In the first example, I have created scenario summary report. This time I will create the scenario pivot table report. So click on this option and the result cells are same C10 to D10 that are the profit values for product A and product B. Now click on OK to create the pivot table. And you can see that the scenario summary pivot table is created. You will find the associated data in the pivot table fields. The total profit values are same, just like the first example, only the presentation type is different. This time, this is a pivot table. Let's change the headers. Go to cell B3 and type total profit of product A. and type total profit of product B. Finally, press enter. Let's auto fit the columns. Click on this icon and double click as this two headed arrow appears. In this way, we have created our scenario summary report. I have demonstrated the step by step guide for creating a scenario summary report in Excel. Hopefully you can apply this knowledge according to your requirement and convenience. You can download the practice workbook from the video description to sharpen your Excel skills. Feel free to leave any questions, suggestions or feedback in the comment section below. You can go to exceldemy.com to read our Excel blogs or you can share your Excel related issues in our Excel Demi forum and receive free solutions. For more content like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching our video. Bye.